Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on top today I've got the perfect workout for you if you are suffering from any kind of pelvic prolapse. You guys, the conversation on what we're doing today is actually really long, but in order to keep things brief on screen, you're going to want to pause the video and open up the description below to read all about what muscles we're using, how often you should do this workout, and what questions you should ask your doctor. But once you've done that, you don't need any equipment at all. We barely need five minutes. And my friends, when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, we are starting this workout in my favorite position, lying on your backs. Go ahead and have your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor, your palms up, and your whole body just relaxed. The first thing that we're going to do is simply find your pelvic floor muscles. It might take a little bit of work, so try squeezing in, pulling up. There's a couple of different ways that I visualize it. My favorite one, and I apologize, if you have other people in the room, you might tell them to cover their ears or get out. We're getting up close and personal today. My favorite one is to think about trying to stop in the middle of peeing while holding in a fart. I know, I know, I know that's graphic, but it also really helps you find all the muscles that are going on in there. The other thing that you can think about, and again, it's really weird, but think about trying to pull yourself away from your underwear. I know, I know, but once you can pull in, squeeze up, pull it all in together, you'll know exactly what muscles I'm talking about. And here's the thing, you should be able to breathe, you should be able to talk, you should be able to move. Right now, we're just gonna move very briefly. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice deep breath. And we're gonna squeeze it all in. And while we're squeezing it all in, we're gonna bring one knee towards your chest. And we're just going to hold on to it. We're going to hold that knee towards your chest. We're going to hold on to all those other muscles. We're squeezing, we're squeezing, we're squeezing, we're breathing. We're moving our hands to talk as I do. And you'll notice that your muscles are going to relax. Whether you're trying to squeeze them or not, your muscles are going to relax. As you notice that, like right now, take another deep breath. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. And lower that leg really slowly, really gently and relax everything. Intentionally relax everything. Take another couple of breaths and then we're going to do that exact same thing on the other side. We're going to squeeze, 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 pull it all in, squeeze, 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 lift that knee towards your chest. Other leg is flat or other foot is flat on the ground, your knee is bent. The rest of your body should actually feel really relaxed, really like nothing much is going on. You're really focusing on only the muscles of your pelvic floor, which at this point for me, have already relaxed. So take another deep breath, pull it all in, 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 and then slowly lower that foot to the ground. <sighs> Intentionally relax everything. Coming up next, we're gonna do a glute bridge. And yes, that's all we're doing with the knee raises. This is quick today. We're gonna pull it all in, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Your feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna pull your hips up, 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 up while squeezing in. This time we're using the glute muscles as well as the ab muscles, as well as all those pelvic floor muscles. We're pulling, 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 squeezing, 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 breathing completely normally <sighs> until you feel them starting to relax, even against your will. I know you're trying to squeeze as hard as you can, but they will relax. And when you do, take another deep breath, squeeze, 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 and then go ahead and lower your hips back down and intentionally relax everything. Next up, we're gonna roll over onto our hands and knees. We're gonna get into a hands and knees position. From this position, first things first, just find those muscles again. It feels totally different from this direction. I know, so find those muscles again. When you do, we're still breathing, we're squeezing, we're pulling in, it naturally flattens your back and we're gonna raise one leg straight out so that it is the same line as your naturally flat back. Yes, once again. We are using your glutes. We're totally using your abs. We're trying to keep that leg nice and straight while squeezing, squeezing, squeezing the pelvic floor. And it's quite naturally going to relax on you when it does. Take a deep breath. Pull it in again. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And lower that leg. 
intentionally relax everything. You can really feel the difference after you intentionally relax those muscles when you take another deep breath and pull them all in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Raise your other leg straight out behind you, nice and straight, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your abs, squeezing that pelvic floor. Your neck is neutral. The rest of your body is, well, it's working a little bit more because of this hands and knees position. So you're gonna feel it all over. And then you'll notice that your pelvic floor has released. It does that, it does. That's what we're practicing is feeling it, squeezing it, and then squeezing it some more. Take a deep breath and squeeze, 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 squeeze it in and lower that knee back down gently. My friends, that was it. That was it. If you didn't already open up the description box to read about how often you should do this, please do that now, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you in the next video.